Hello guys and gals, it is I, the monster, and today I wanted to do a rare discussion video, if that's okay. Uh, I noticed that recently my YouTube feed is has become like a, uh, a FOMO frenzy, a uh, fear of missing out if you will, uh, for the recent announcement that the Xbox 360 marketplace is closing in July. Now look, I'm going to keep it real with everybody, right? I don't own an Xbox. I've never owned an Xbox. I've never owned a Microsoft console. I am a Microsoft PC guy. I love Windows. However, I kind of feel like I'm a good fit to actually discuss this. So the shop is coming down. Uh, it's been up for almost 20 years. It's been up a long time. And there's, to my knowledge, there's over 600 games that are currently backwards compatible. And there's, I think 60 of those games are OG Xbox. I don't know how many of them are the actual arcade games, I'm going to be honest here. But people are like freaking out right now, they're like, oh my god, should I get this game, should I get that game? This game's worth this much money, and this one's not, and all the, this game's rare, this game's not, it's all of that. And like, here's the deal, I have nothing against any creator who wants to make a video like that. I think that's perfectly fine. But I also think that there's a trade that I feel like now a lot of the people watching, uh, the collect, the gaming collecting community as a whole really, uh, I feel like people are going to go into a tizzy and they're going to start making these massive purchases that they're going to regret. So I just wanted to make this video kind of give people some examples, some tips here, maybe how to deal with this FOMO frenzy phenomenon if you will. And uh, if you'll humor me, I'll, I'll kind of compare it to the uh, 3DS stuff. That happened not too long ago because the 3ds they announced fairly early that they were going to close the eShop and the eShop got closed in uh, I believe March of last year and I remembered there was a whole panic around that too and I'll admit it like I'm guilty of, of falling into the FOMO stuff because there's always going to be that one or one game that you'd like always wanted to buy and you wanted to play it and you just couldn't get it and all that other jazz so, uh, first of all, I just want to say, with, with FOMO and all of these things going on with the, right now with the current Xbox situation, people really need to objectively, like, they got to take a step back and objectively look at what's going on. You know, I, I think that the Xbox 360 is in a great position where a lot of those games aren't incredibly rare. Yes, there's going to be games that are harder to find. There always are going to be games that are harder to find. There's always going to be genres that are that are going to be worth more than others, you know, especially if you're like an RPG, JRPG guy. You know what that's all about. But like, you know, you got to look at what's going on, right? So like, when the, the 3DS like went down, I remember... I was thinking about like how I, I was very lucky that I was in a spot where I was just buying 3DS games back in the day because they're cheap, they're forty dollar games, and you know I wasn't making a lot of money. And I remember that after they made the announcement, I said, "Okay, I need to go and I need to just get a couple of things. I'm not going to get crazy with it. I'm going to make like a small list of games in my head, or I'll write them down, and we'll just kind of go from there, right?" Uh, so what I did was like again, these are just examples, folks. Like. You know, I prioritized what I wanted. Okay, so like the first game I got was like Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. You know, it's not like a rare game. It's pretty common actually. I got a nice price on it and I said, you know, I want to play it with regular controls and not some wee waggle stuff. You know, things like that. So I said, okay, I'm going to pick this one up. You know, things like you have to prioritize it because what's happening is, is people are buying games. They're going to buy a lot of games, let's be honest here. And they're going to just be sitting on your shelf for 10 years. You want to buy something that you want to play. Don't buy something because you think it's going to be some high-valued game or, or whatever in the years to come. You know, buy something that you want to play. Buy something that you actually see worth in. Because, you know, it's easy to just buy a whole bunch of crap. Like, let's just be honest here. It is. If you have the money and you have the resources to do it. I mean, I don't know. Nowadays, things are tough, folks. So, I, if, But if you got the income to do it, I mean, I'm just saying... You know, and then I got, like, another, here's a middle example. So, like, Pokemon Omega Ruby. I picked this up. Pokemon's always going to be popular. I don't feel like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire had, like, the greatest print run of all time. But, again, this is a, you know, popular game. Uh, again, kind of a weirder print run. And I said, all right, I'm going to pick this up. And I, I paid, I don't remember what I paid for this. It wasn't, it was, like, definitely over 30 bucks. You know, found this one on eBay. So, like, again, you, and I know I'm going to play it. Like, I love Gen 3, it's one of my favorite gens. I know people are mixed on Gen 3, but my point is, is like I'm going to play these two games. And then the third one is the best example of all. This is actually why I'm doing this. So the third example is I picked up Fantasy Life for the 3DS. This is kind of a 
dare I say, like a cult game, a niche game, did not have a big print run. It's by level five. I've only seen this in a store once when it first came out and then it disappeared. And I had, I'll never forget this, they announced eShop's closing. Okay, it's not even closed yet, folks. This is what I'm talking about with the FOMO thing. And I'm on eBay, I'm looking for this game, and I'm telling you, people are buying them up like hotcakes, like boom, 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 faster than those two games, if you could believe it. And I remember the only way I was able to find it was I had to go on Marketplace on Facebook, and I literally talked to this really nice woman, and she gave me, I basically bought it for the regular price of the game, and I had to pay the shipping. But to me, it was worth the $40, $50, whatever I spent on this. So, you know, you have to prioritize what do you want, you know? I remember a couple of years ago, Sony... Uh, announced that they were going to cut like the PS3, the Vita, and the PSP off. And there was a whole stink about it because, you know, for for my game pre preservation standpoint, it's, it's a pain in the butt now because all these games are going to be harder to get and people are going to have to pay more for it. So Sony actually had to like say, okay, you know what, we're going to keep the PS3 and we're going to keep the Vita stores up. The PSP one's coming down. And I know there's a lot of back and forth about that. I've heard some stuff about servers. But the, the fact is, is that they kept it up so that way, like, people can actually still get these games and also so they don't piss people off. Let's, you know, again, let's not make this, let's not beat around the bush here. So I just feel like, I, I think right now people need to chill out a little bit. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I just think people need to kind of figure out what they want to buy, what kind of games are they interested in. And, you know, maybe they do want to preserve a game. I don't know. But don't buy stuff that you're just buying because somebody told you to buy it and you feel like it's going to it's gonna be an investment, dude. Don't don't think like that, especially if you're a collector. You know, just try to buy, buy what's your mind, <laughs> buy what's your mind and buy what's your heart. <laughs> I guess is really what I'm trying to say here. And don't, don't fall into the trappings of this FOMO stuff because I'm telling you, man, you're going to buy stuff and you're going to regret it. And it's bothering me because I'm seeing people making these videos and they're like, okay, well, well, today I'm back and I bought 30 games. Are you really gonna play all 30 of those games? Keep it real. Are you gonna buy? Are you gonna play all 30 of those games? I'm only showing you three games that I bought, yo. So in any case, guys, that's really it. What do you think about this FOMO stuff? What do you think about this Xbox 360 marketplace stuff? How you feeling since the eShop closed or any of the Sony stuff? Uh, I mean, it, it's tough out there, man. Especially and, and especially sucks too when like a developer. Uh, pulls games from the shop like Bandai Namco did a couple months ago because now I can't get Tales of Hearts R on the Vita and I'm really pissed off about it. Sorry. In any case, so tell me in the comments below what you think and you feel. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do whatever you got to do. And I appreciate you so much. And uh, like I said, don't fall for too much for the trappings of FOMO. Be realistic. Be realistic, dang it. Be realistic. Peace out. Play games.